Have you ever noticed how artists or uh, mechanics or people who work with things, if they're halfway through the job, the job looks like an absolute disaster? If you go into a kitchen and someone is baking, right? You see flour, you see broken eggs, you see pots and pans and eggshells and banana peels, and the place looks like, I mean, it looks like an absolute disaster, right? And then when you come along, obviously at the end of the job, you have this wonderful banana bread uh, creation, uh, or, or you, when you bring your car to the mechanic and it takes off the front bumper, it looks like an absolute disaster, because all you see is like wires and tanks and, and radiators, and it looks like, you know, it looks horrific. Or if you see a sculptor, uh, when you walk, when a big block of whatever it is, marble is brought to him, and he's hocking away at it, all you see is sledgehammers and dust, and it looks like a mess. Or average, your average artist, even with a paintbrush, we've got one, a budding artist here now. So as he's painting, paint gets on apparently everything except the canvas kind of thing. It's like this paint in his clothes, this paint in his palette, this paint in his hands, this paint in his eyebrow. And, you know, he's, and it, it's coming together, but it looks like an absolute mess, right? Uh, but good artists know how to, in the mess, or even from the mess, create something good. That's what... That's, what, that's how their creative power uh, shows itself. Uh, and so it is, I think, with God that in, in the mess of what we see, in the mess of, of the world around us, uh, he creates something good. We give him very little in comparison to what he gives us in return. Like he's the ultimate multiplier, the ultimate transformer, if you will. We give him a few little bits of bread and he gives himself to us. He gives his body, blood, soul, and divinity us in the Eucharist. We give him a half an hour of our time, he wishes to give us eternity. You know, we give him very little, and he transforms it and embellishes it and makes it so much more meaningful and valuable. Uh, so, like, even though we try to give him good material things, like we, have, we got donated this new uh, tabernacle, which needs a little bit of a polish, but she's not too bad. Um, it's kind of like, I like it because it's, it represents kind of a house, and if this is the holy family, then it should be kind of like a home. So our home is there with the Lord in the house. Bethlehem, incidentally, means house of bread. That's a house of, not bread, but it contains the Holy Eucharist. So anyway, all comes together. Um, so even though we give him good things, it's nothing in comparison to what he deserves. Right? So we give, him, we give him very little. He gives us so much in return. What we actually give him fundamentally, actually, is, uh, is our ourselves and we are quite imperfect so we give him our, our, our sinfulness and our woundedness and what does he do with that well if, if I give him myself with an open heart he washes me clean gives me new life and prepares me for heaven I don't deserve that but he gives it as a free gift this is just the, 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 the generosity the, the self-effacing self-emptying love of God and so then we can say like that what starts here what starts here changes the world. What starts in, in, in my heart when, the, when I receive the Lord, if I let that light shine into other people's lives and they in turn let that light, that same light, which is always Christ, shine into other people's hearts and they in turn let that, that light shine into other people's hearts, what starts here changes the world. The, the faith that I have, the faith that I try to be faithful to, the, tra- the faith that I try to live, the relationship with the Lord that I try to cultivate, can actually start to change the world. Now, it's not immediate, and it's not because of me, but it's, 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 it's through us. The Lord does use people like you and me, you and I. So we have an incredible mission, and it starts here. It starts today, and it starts in me. The conversion of the world starts with me, and it starts now. And it does so through the grace of God. That even though what I bring him is imperfect and it's, it's only me and it's my weaknesses and my inability, the Lord transforms it. The Lord transforms it and turns it into something beautiful. So we thank the good Lord for his infinite love and mercy, for his infinite patience with us. That he never gives up on us and that as long as we have the good will to be transformed and to be healed, his grace is always sufficient. Amen.